one of my favorite questions, maybe ever, okay. from Christopher Venetia. If areas that aren't state title, state powers like El Paso, RGV, Corpus Christi, and Laredo only had one school, would they be able to win a state title? Ooh. So now, if you made an Cal El Paso Allen, lumping Cal team. Allen is a little unfair. No, we'll just start there because mm-hmm. I mean l- lumping Corpus Christi in because Cal Allen nearly did. Yes. So Last I w- year. I would. I would. I, well, I want to remove Corpus. Yes. Because, because I think unquestionably, if you gave yes. Cal Allen the best player from the Flower best Bluff, five other players yes. in the area, they they might win the state title. Last Agreed year, with so. that. So we're talking essentially about the Valley, Laredo, Laredo and El Paso. El Paso. I think in El Paso, yes. Right. Here's um, the other thing. To continue that, ahead. let's just assume, for argument's sake, if you're going to pull from that many kids, these would have to be 6A teams. Correct. You couldn't say, yeah, for sure. we're going to take the best kids and in El Paso and put them in 4 or 5A, right? Because, of course, no yes, way. they would yeah, right. in that case. I think El Paso would. I think an El Paso all-star team would win a 6A title because they've got they've got enough talent spread around there. Um, you know, you take a lot of defense from a team like Canatillo, right? right. You take some like some playmakers like Sedarius Barfield at right. Eldorado, and, right. and you go and you make these, you you put these pieces together. You put together a really good offensive line, really good defensive line. I would say that yes, they could win a state championship. I would say the Valley could. Um, the thing that scares me about the Valley would be um, in the secondary. Yeah, where I was going to say size at skill positions is yeah. probably the biggest thing. You you know, you're going to run into teams where they can just. Where they've got a Gabriel jump Douglas. Over you, they've got you a know? Gabriel Douglas where you yeah. throw it up and, and yeah. you jump over him. Yeah. That would be uh that would be my concern yeah. down there. But I think yes, in the right circumstances, a Valley team. I don't think Laredo could. Probably uh, I not. don't think yeah. they have a big enough area to draw right. from. Right. Uh there are some super talent. I think that's a state semifinalist yeah. type, type sure, thing. Sure, sure, but sure. I don't think I don't think Laredo, a Laredo All Star team would win a state championship. That's kind of my feeling just because that's a much smaller area that you're drawing yeah. from. You're basically drawing from like United, United South, Nixon, Cigaroa, Martin, I'm uh I'm missing a couple others. But yes, yeah. essentially that's uh, I, that's kind of where I land on it. So El Paso, so. yes, Valley, yes, Laredo maybe. I'm trying to think if there's another area. But I don't think so. I think those are those are probably the probably, ones, yeah. right? I mean, like if you took like a like if we're talking like Permian Basin, like if you took like Midland, the best teams in Midland, the best teams in Odessa. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is that you go out there and like Iran's out there, right. and so like they almost did. Uh, right. You know, if you take a kid like Kyle O'Bannon from Iran, right. and put him on a, a fantastic team, then yeah, yeah, you can absolutely do. That. I mean, the thing that I do think about too is like, what if Lubbock or Abilene had one high school? Right. Suddenly you have a perennial state state title contender mm-hmm. every year. There's just too many good options mm-hmm. there. I think totally that's, agree. It's a great question. I do. That's like one of my favorite in a long time. 